when you when you you know overcoming if we add a little dyslexic approach to it instead of saying overcome we say come over somebody say come over it's time we come over it and stop talking about going through it you see when you pass through the fire that scripture God said when you pass through the fire I will be with you you ready for this Nick check this out huh? this is going to change your whole perspective it's going to shift your paradigm when you walk out from this place you'll be feeling like a hero you ready for this yes, sir. I don't know if you're ready for this Nick yeah. God said in the book of Isaiah when you pass through the fire I will be with you you shall it shall not burn you neither shall any flame be kindled upon you when you pass through the water it shall not overflow you why because God said I will be with you and we in the church this is the only thing that we know in our vocabulary is to pass through it to go through it but I'm not preaching through come I'm preaching overcome that's why I'm saying come over you see when you pass through the fire God is with you but when you step over your problem mm, come Jadu come Jadu you see I want to get to that side Jadu is Jadu is in my way and I'm trying to get through but he's blocking you okay I know you're a little fragile yeah yeah he's blocking me I All right. All right, good. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. But that is when you're trying to go through it. God said, I will be with you and I will give you the power to run through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's such a hassle because when now we're preaching overcome, like come over, stoop down. When we're talking about overcome, it's like this. Anybody get that? Yeah. Hear it now. This is how you overcome. Yeah. Mm. Not through come, overcome. Because God puts your enemy beneath your feet. Yeah. And you step over him. Yeah. Here's the difference now. Here's the difference now. When you go through it, God said in Isaiah that I will be with you. When you go through it, God is with you. But when you go over it, you are with God. Because he's above all things. I know you're standing in the atmosphere with God. He brings you over the problem. He allows you to overcome it. To put it beneath your feet. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. All this time you're fighting up here. But the overcomers, they are up here. Oh gosh, we need some people. The overcomers are down here, but they're up here. Yeah, that's where the overcomers are. Yeah, we don't, we don't just stay down there. We stretch from here to here. You can get up now, Jadu. He's sleeping. Yeah. I'm tired of people in the church just going through. Every time you meet them, how are you going? Oh, I'm going through this. I'm going through. Come on. We need, we, you need to shift a little bit. Pull a move. Pull a move. Yeah, shift a little bit and understand that God doesn't want you to go through it sometimes. He wants you to go over it. Yeah, somebody watch your neighbor. Tell them, come over. If God has ever taken you in a place where you have gone over, you have overcome the enemy, watch your brother and tell him, hey, it's time for you to come over just like I did. Somebody come over. You see, I was where you were at, but it's time for you to come over. I struggle the way you struggle, but it's time to come over. But you see, in the church, we're busy gloating to try to make people see how spiritual we are. Yeah, we've been through that. Blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. It's time you tell them, hey, if God could do it for me, he could do it for you. Come over with me. Anybody hearing me? Yeah, come over with me. Like, like when I look at a man like Delhi, I hear in Delhi mouth for a long time. But when you look at a man like Delhi, Delhi is supposed to be six feet under right now. But guess what? God said, you coming over, my boy. Yeah. So, so, so when, we, when we had the, um, the, the, the home stretch, I asked Delhi, I said, what you going to put? He said, of course, my testimony, Pastor Jay. And he writes it this small. He it. I said, but Delhi, nobody could be able to read that. What are you doing? You see, what I didn't understand was Delhi wasn't saying, I want you to read it. I want you to watch it. He said, this is a testimony right here. 
the testimony not on the words on the page but this is a testimony and everybody who passed on the road is saying hey come over come over with me overcome like I did do we have anybody in here who could tell somebody else come over somebody touch them on the shoulder say hey come over come over it's time to step into something new it's time to step over that problem it's time to step over that issue it's time to step over that fear step over come over in the name of Jesus Mm -hmm. I don't get it, I don't get it, I don't get it. Some of you be telling you to come over and you're like, <laughs> it's not like we tell you to jump over a cliff. We tell you to step over your problem. Stop crying about it. God already put it under your feet. It's done, folks. It's done. Like I preached the other day, people are, people are busy praying and crying out to God for things that God has already given them. Yes, it's time for you to come over. Do you know you're spending uh, the lion's share of your time on a mute point? Crying over spilt milk. Guess what? The milk is already spilled. Come over. Yeah. Still arguing doctrinal commitments and apologetics. Come over. Still wondering about who more holy. Or no, no, come over. You don't understand. The more we fight, is the, is the less chance we get to see, to see God come in. So guess what? We're coming over together. Yeah, amen. yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you don't like it, I'm holding you and I'm yeah. pulling you. Coming with yeah, me. Yeah, we're yeah, coming yeah, over. Yeah, amen. Somebody touch. Somebody tell your tell your neighbor. Tell your partner. We we going over together. Amen. We going somewhere together. We going somewhere together. Yeah. If you're not praising, guess what? I'm gonna run up next to you and start jumping until you yes. like it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you don't like my preaching, I'll come baptize you with my spit until you like it. Anybody hearing me? Yeah, because somebody's going to come over. I am gonna, I'm not going to sit there and watch you wallow in your depression. I'm going to grab you and pull you out of it and say, come over with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you can't, pull, you can't pull nobody over if you've never come out yourself. So first I want you to start by coming out. Uh, I'm coming out somebody. Yeah, I know that means something else in the world, but in the church, we're coming out from depression. In the church, we're coming out of religion. We're coming out as church as usual. We're coming out in the name of Jesus. I'm coming out. Somebody come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Come out, come out, wherever you are, come out. Come out from that place, that lethargic place, that mediocre place, that mundane place. I'm coming out. All right, 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 all right. Guys, could you do me a favor? Well, do yourself a favor because some of you need to break some ice a little bit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds to just give God a plain old crazy coming out kind of praise. Mm -hmm. Would you come out? Would somebody come out? Yeah, let's give God a crazy praise. Yeah, you could put it down. You could put it down. And come out a little bit. Sit down. Yeah. First John 5 and 4 tells us, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory of them that overcometh the world. Hear it now. This is how you overcome. Even our faith. This is the victory that overcometh the world. Even our faith. Knowing that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Patience means to wait. When we wait, we mount up. When we wait, we come over. When we wait, we overcome. Having faith in the face of what the world says elevates you above what the world is preaching. 
we don't have to dabble and mix up in all the all the melee that the devil is trying to bring in the world we just wait on God because the Bible says they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint oh God somebody we wait on God we say God here I am whatsoever you want oh God I will give you see that's a connotation for waiting just standing there and be like uh -uh, okay we're waiting on you Lord when you're gonna show up no no waiting is like a waiter we come to God and say, Lord, here I am. I will go. Whatever you want, Lord. I'll do whatever you want to. i do whatever you want to. And that will make room for you. But what I realize, Nick, is God is going to make room for himself. Because when he has a pillar, a pillar is one that overcomes. Since the pillar is one that overcomes, when God steps in, he moves the pillar. That's how revival starts. Lord, 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 we want to overcome, oh God. We want to overcome, oh God. Sometimes it seems as if I can't get off the ground. Pastor Jay is talking about overcoming and I can't overcome. No matter how hard I try, I can't seem to shake this heaviness, this weight. Oh Lord, I can't, I don't know what to do, Lord Jesus. Help me, Lord. Let me tell you how to overcome that. You ready for this? Check this out, check this out, check this out. When you're fighting that heaviness in you, you just go to, you go to, you go to your partner, your buddy, you say, hey, here this, here this dog. Ready for this? There was one time I was sick. And I thought I was going to die. I was throwing up like a dog. But then, my pastor lay hands on me and he prayed. And I just felt something inside him. And it moved me. And guess what? You're healed. You know what's the bad part about that? I forgot that I was sick. So I forgot to give God thanks. Anybody ever been there? Yeah. When you're going through your thing, you go say, oh, watch yourself in the mirror. Iris, girl, do you remember the time? When you felt so alone and then Jesus came and he said, I am with you. Uh-huh. Chopai, when the enemy comes and he tries to bring that attack on you, then you say, hey, let me tell you something, Chopai. You speak to yourself in the mirror. Or you start telling Ellie, or you start telling Iris. There was a time I was so low in my life. And then all of a sudden I walked through this white door and I saw this really good looking preacher. And he said, welcome to Sava. <laughs> right? Yeah. When you see you feeling down, Dijon, remember the time you sit in the Pastor Jay office and say, I'm a New Yorker. And Pastor Jay said, no, you're from Clement. <laughs> remember that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what that is? That is your testimony. Amen. The Bible tells us, and they overcame the enemy by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. When you see overcoming seems to elude you, testify. Amen. Amen. Testify. I mean, I, I remember one time I had a night, a Friday night back home in Trinidad. We had a night called Testify. Right? And some of you might think we just call people up to testify. No, it wasn't that. We recorded the testimonies because some people like to preach sermons now. Recorded every testimony on video. Right? And in between the worship. And I mean, God is moving. We'll just play a testimony. Most amazing testimonies I've ever heard in my life. Testify. Man, talk about breakthrough. Because while that's happening, God is doing things with people in there. Sometimes you just have to testify to help your brother to overcome. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to testify to help yourself to overcome. Mm -hmm. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of his testimony. See, overcoming is an option. You choose to lay down and die or you could stand up and preach. I choose to stand up and preach. Yeah, whenever I feel bad, I thank God that I have church, especially on a Wednesday. 
I'll be like, because I know from the moment I get up there and I grab that mic and I started flowing the Holy Spirit, I feel like a hundred million dollars. Unfortunately, I don't feel like a hundred million dollars today. I feel like a few billion dollars. That's pretty good. Mm. You overcome by the blood of the Lamb because the blood washes away your sins, gives you power. You overcome by your testimony. We can't have a testimony without a test. A test is a stairway to something higher, to higher heights. Death is not failure. Death is but a doorway. So you have to say tonight, I choose to come. I choose to overcome. I choose to go up higher. And the way you do that is start by saying, I will go, Lord. Send me. You see, you have to make a choice. You either choose Jesus or you choose the world. I didn't make that choice. God made that choice. The Bible says, Friendship with the world is enmity with God. Make your choice. That is the option to overcome, folks. Make your choice. You can say, I'll do a little bit of Jesus here and a little bit of Hare Krishna here. Can't work. Can't work. It's either Jesus or nothing. For there is one mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus. No other. I will go Lord. Send me. Bye.